Hello, welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason Newland. This is Relaxation Hypnosis for Stress, Anxiety and Panic Attacks. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. And just let you know that I've designed a new image for the po- for the podcast. Um, <laughs> I, don't I don't know why I'm mentioning it because it's it's not really that that different from the other one, but it's a bit clearer as a as a picture. That's why I designed that. That's the whole story, really. There was nothing else to add to it. Just thought I'd, uh, just in case you, you're thinking, well, that looks weird. It's still kind of a pinky colour background. Anyway, well, that was boring, wasn't it? I'll move on. So what I'm going to do, this is going to be a short recording. It is. I know that I've uh, I've teased you in the past with such things as you know letting you know you know it's going to be a short recording then Andre comes out runs around like he just did there and then I end up talking for an hour but I'm not going to be doing that today this is an exercise exercise technique what's he doing Sounded like he was crying. Uh, hopefully I can just do this recording now. If he stopped making noise. Bless him. So this, we don't need quiet for this. This isn't something that's uh, like a, a big relaxation exercise like you know lying down in your bed or um, falling asleep or anything like that in fact it's something that you could do on the bus not if you're driving a bus but you know if you were a passenger uh, on a train if you were a passenger in a car uh, you know just or at home sitting down you could probably do it standing up as well but I do suggest closing your eyes at some point so standing up with your eyes closed isn't always ideal for some people so it's it's best ideally just to do it sitting down so all it is there's two parts to this. Now, the exercise is is aimed at reducing the chatter in your brain, in your mind. The chatter's not in your brain, is it? It's in your mind. So the, the thoughts, possibly intrusive thoughts, uh, uncomfortable thoughts, repetitive, boring, annoying thoughts, uh, useless negative thoughts. Of course, there's also going to be some nice thoughts in there, useful, positive, but they don't all come at the same time. It can feel a little bit like you've got a crowded room, but you can only hear one voice at a time. You can't have positive thought and a negative thought at the same time. So only one can occur. So when you push, when you focus on the positive stuff, the negative stuff can't get in there. It's almost like the positive, positivity is hogging the conversation. You know, you know when you, you ever be at a party or a place, a, a, a gathering where you want to talk to someone, but you just can't get in there because someone else has got them and they got their attention and you just I've done that a couple of times 
and in the end just give up. So that's that one thing. So the idea here is to calm your mind. And even though I've got a ferret that's decided to sneeze in the background, birds singing outside, it doesn't matter because this is not a sleep session. It doesn't even take any concentration really. There's a little bit of concentration, but... So I'll do the technique. There's two parts. The first part is... There's three. (laughs) I suppose the first part always is to get in touch with how you're feeling. So noticing how you're feeling now and listening to my voice, especially if you listen to me regularly, you may well be feeling different anyway. So, you know, it's, which is it's kind of natural, I think. Uh, you get used to hearing me and you connect my voice with feeling more relaxed naturally you may even connect the sound of Andre running around in a kind of a, an almost a calming feeling and then this little ferret cute little boys running around having fun and annoying me. So the first thing is to get in touch with how you're feeling. And if you want to kind of gauge the effectiveness of what we're going to do now, you can, you know, perhaps judge the stress levels in your mind from a one to 10 scale. 10 being, you know, the worst it could ever possibly be. Um, One being sort of nothing. Whatever it is on that scale is, that's your decision. Whatever you choose, you feel it is. So whether it's a four, whether it's a seven, whatever. So just notice where it is now on that scale. That way we can compare it to how it changes. Now, so that's kind of the first part. The second part is what we're going to do. And I, I can't, I was about to say, you need two hands for this. So you don't necessarily, but ideally, because um, we're going to be putting our fingertips, tapping our fingertips together from each hand. But if you've only got the use of one hand, you can tap your fingertips against your knee, as long as it's it's comfortable to do so. But um, I'm going to ask you, and it's not palms, just the fingertips, just tapping the fingertips together. As you say the words, the sentence, which is, I can relax easily. I can relax easily. So all the way, all the time you're saying it, you're just tapping your fingers and thumbs together, just the fingertips and the thumb tips. So the little finger touching the other little finger, the thumb tip touching the thumb tip of the other hand and so on and just tapping them together as gently or as you know whatever level you want I mean you're not it's not about hurting yourself it's just about feeling it and noticing it but at the same time you can feel it and you can you know definitely get your attention And at the same time, as I said, just saying, I can relax easily. So you're saying those words exactly. So you're not saying you can relax, I can relax easily. And if there's no one around, you can just say it out loud. If there's people around, maybe say it inside you. 
inside just your head, you know. So I can relax easily. I can relax easily. I can relax easily. And maybe stress some of the words a bit differently as you say it. So I can relax easily or I can relax easily or I can relax easily or I can relax easily. So there's lots of different versions you can do playing around with that. And maybe saying it as many times as you want really, but I'd say probably about 10 times. So I'll, I'll do it now 10 times so I can relax easily. And do it with me. I can relax easily. I can relax easily. I can relax easily. And you can have your eyes open or closed doing this, it's whatever you want to do. I can relax easily. I can relax easily. I can relax easily. And one more, I think that's about 10. Doesn't have to be exact. Just do it for as long as you feel comfortable. I can relax easily. And you keep tapping your fingers, you know, thumbs together the tips of your fingers and thumbs. And after the, the last sentence, all we can do now is just put your hands on top of your head, pushing your fingers and thumbs across the top of your head, the scalp, and just resting them on your head. And you can feel the fingers and thumbs buzzing Sending that healing, relaxing energy directly into your brain. Stimulating and activating the parts of your brain which sends those chemicals. Releasing those chemicals that calm your mind. Calm your mind. Not just your mind, but all the way through your body. And you can just take your hands away Pushing your hands together, just gently touching palm to palm. And you can just decide that when your hands fall to your lap, you'll feel completely relaxed. And you can count yourself from five to one. And on one, just letting them fall gently to your lap. Five, four, three, two, loose, one. Oh.
whole body is so relaxed. And my mind, I'm actually so relaxed, I don't even know if I've got my glasses on or not. So now you can just gauge your level of relaxation. Or gauge you know, the level compared to what it was before. Or stress levels you have now compared to before. So you can compare how much more relaxed you feel now. even though it only took a couple of minutes. And if you take away all my chitter-chatter at the beginning, the actual exercise itself doesn't take long. It's a very quick result. Very quick way to relax. I don't want to do anything now, I just want to just sit here. It feels lovely. So I'm going to bring this recording to an end. And you can repeat this as often as you choose. Or if you just want to listen and do it with me a few times or as many times as you want to and remember you can relax easily as you've just proven to yourself now remember to be kind to yourself because you deserve to be happy. Lots of love. Bye.